Good morning, Generals. My name is Helios, and today is January 7th. Hope you all had an amazing week. Make sure not to come to school this upcoming Monday because of Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Next Tuesday, there is Ike Elect Affair on January 18th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Next Wednesday, on January 19th, 5th graders are going to visit Eisenhower Middle School. Also, there is a 7th and 8th grade boys basketball game, Ike versus Kruger, at 4.30 p.m. through 7.30 p.m. Next Thursday, there is a 7th and 8th grade girls basketball game, Ike versus Bradley, end of season tournament, on January 20th through the 22nd. Also, there is a tennis game next Thursday, Ike versus Bush, 4.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. at Blossom Athletic Center. Now it's time for birthdays with Truman. Hi, this is Birthdays. I'm Truman, and this is... Brian. Today's birthdays are Diem, Adrian, Serenity, Taisha, Luz, Thatcher, and tomorrow's birthdays are Alexandra, Samaya, Mason, Kayla, Zane, and Sunday's birthdays are Ethan. Yeah, okay. And then for staff birthdays, tomorrow we have... Mrs. Tripp. And then for celebrities' birthdays, we have... Grant Gustin and Jason Bateman. Okay, that's all for birthdays, and we will be back in a flash next week. Goodbye, generals. Adios, amigos. Happy birthday to everybody. Wish you the best. But now it's time for lunch with Jaseis and Eddie. Hey generals, I'm Maddie. And I'm Jacedes, and today for the gross side we will be having cheeseburgers, hamburgers, pepperoni pizza, and cheese pizza. And for the savor of the flavor we'll be having beef and cheese nachos, cheese nachos, chicken salad, and yogurt combo. That's it for lunch, generals. The mini sounds great guys, but now it's time for sports with Kimri and Sam. What's up generals, I'm Sam. And I'm Kimri. And this is General Sports. On Wednesday, boys and girls tennis had a match against Driscoll at the Blossom Athletic Center. And next Thursday, we have a match against Bush. The boys 7th and 8th grade basketball teams went against Garner on Wednesday, leaving behind one game and one end-of-season tournament for the year. The girls 7th and 8th grade basketball teams went against Kruger, leaving behind one end-of-season tournament next week. Before we find out what's really happening in the classroom, let's talk about yearbook. Upon reading the poster, you can see that it says, Bring $5 to Mrs. Tripp, room 208, and you will get your personal QR code to add 10 photos to the yearbook. Now, from talking about yearbook to our PTA, let's talk about Coach Ochoa and his PTA Honorary Award. Alright, I'm here interviewing... Coach Ochoa. And I'm here because he got his PTA Honorary Award. Congratulations. Now, how do you feel that, you know, you got it? Um, I'm very I'm very humbled and I'm very blessed just because um, I really, I, I truly do love this job. I truly do love the students here and the athletes here, and I truly do love the community with the parents and, and just the, the vibe that's here at Eisenhower. All right. Now, what actions or steps did you take to achieve this award? Uh, to be honest with you, Sparks, I have no idea. I mean, every day I just come in and I, and I really, just like how I, how I tell my students and my athletes, I really do try to just give 100%. Um, and hopefully by the way that I am, um, it, shows, it shows to y'all and it shows to my students that, that I truly care, which hopefully in turn will make y'all truly care about sports or, or academics and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, congratulations on getting our Let's go! Now, let's find out what's really happening in the classroom. So that's where, that's like, so these, so that way you have a one and a two, or maybe a, a, a 
model. I'm here to interview a few students from the engineering class, and these students would be... I'm Hunter. Brandon. James. Liam. Pedro. All right, now, students, I'm going to ask y'all one question. How does it feel to be working in the engineering class? Pretty fun. Pretty good. Cool, be it sometimes stressful. Understandable. It's fun. Feels great. All right. Thank you, students. You can head back to the class. That's all for what's happening in the classroom. Oh, yeah, and in case you didn't get enough sweeping action last week. Hey gentlemen, welcome to Question of the Day, where we'll be asking students around campus questions to see what they think about them. Uh, today's question of the day is, is cereal soup, yes or no? Now let's see what students around the campus say. We're here with Damien and we're going to ask them this question. Do you think cereal is a soup, yes or no? No. Why? Because there's no milk on soup. Okay, is that, is that the only reason? Yeah. Alright, thank you for tuning in. Uh, we're here with Brian. We're going to ask him, do you think cereal is a soup, yes or no? No. Why? Because you don't put broth or meat into it, and you also do not heat it. All right. On to the next one. Hi, right, we're here with Megan, and we're going to ask her, do you think cereal is a soup, yes or no? Yes. Why? Because it's in a bowl, and you can eat it. Okay. We're here with Alex, and we're going to ask him, do you think cereal is a soup, yes or no? No. Why? Because it's gushy. I don't know. Oh, Okay. Alright, the answer to that burning hot question is no, cereal is not a soup. Unless you're like any cereal with boiling meat, fish, and vegetables, then it'd be a soup. So come on, that's actually kind of gross. Like, no one would do that, right? Thanks for the question, Jose. Thank you for tuning in to INN, our school, one family, all heart. What the? Oh! You can zoom out. Boop, 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 boop. The girl six. six Sixth. Oh, I was doing so. Had a match against. Oh, did I say that? Oh my god. The girl seventh and eighth grade boy. Bo seventh and eighth grade boy. <laughs> I said the girl seventh and eighth grade boy. Just cut that out. On Wednesday, tennis. Oh my god.